Hi guys, it's time for more tips on MC script. Writing script is an important homework before we go on stage. We want to be an MC who make an impact to the event. We don't want to be just a dull announcer who no one in the audience would remember. I'm Nirmala Trisna and you are watching MC Bali channel. Whenever I got an MC gig, before I start writing a script, I will start by reading articles or news related to the event theme. Whether it's banking industry, financial industry, health, government related materials, bride or wedding stories, etc. By reading those articles, I can make good ground to start developing the script. My next thing to do is to contact the event committee to ask about more reading materials or terms of references. From there, I will start reading more related content and also knowing the speaker's names. I love to do Google check on those speakers, try to explore more about the speakers beyond the CV that they provide to the event committee. By doing those things, I can create personal connections to those who are involved in the event. Next, try to know the audience so our script can be relatable to them. Any facts, figures or sentences that we want to put in our script must be correct and interesting. Otherwise, we would embarrass ourselves on the stage. So then it's time to write our script. In our notes or words app, we can start by putting down the event agenda in the chronological order. From start to finish. Imagine the time when we have to take the microphone and start the event or start making announcements until the time when we have to leave the microphone and leave the event. Things that we need to think are how we should start, what housekeeping information we should announce, what the program details are, how a certain program must be conducted. We should also imagine how the event flows. Is it something that we as an MC must act fast? from one program to the next one? Or is it a moment where the audience will give full attention to the MC on stage? For instance, thanking the first speaker and inviting the next speaker to the stage, we want that session to be quick and fast. In that case, MC can just stand off stage or maybe do voiceover to thank the first speaker and invite the next one. But if we need to read the bio and also introduce the next speaker with longer sentence, maybe the MC can be on stage or just on the side or on the podium. Another example is when we do housekeeping information or when we are announcing the next program uh, during lunch break, we see some people start enters the ballroom or the meeting area. We can do this announcement off stage. We don't need to be on stage. And once more people are gathering in the room, we can go on stage and we can do announcement to start the second half of the day. Other example is an inauguration session for an official opening. Normally, MC must be swift to respond to any event dynamics during the inauguration session. We can write down all the required movements, all the officials, VIPs, who will be uh, playing important role in that inauguration session. But during the day, during that session on stage, we must be responsive to anything that's happening on stage and we must adjust what we are saying 
to be responsive to the event dynamics. For government-related events and also like strict corporate events, we need to send our script or our draft to the event committee. We need to make sure that the facts and figures and all the sentences, all the stories that we are putting in the script are correct and approved by them. Before the event, try to read and memorize the script as much as we can. But on the stage, I always try to look at the audience and minimize looking at the cue card. By doing that, I can adjust the way or the words that I'm saying so that I can create real connection with the audience. Okay, well, that's all for now. I wish you all the best. Let me know if you have any questions. Can I remind you to like this video and subscribe to my channel and also to share this video and my other videos to everyone you know. Well, not everyone you know. Everyone who you think will need my videos. Thank you, good luck and see you next time.